Hello everyone. <coughs> Welcome to my class. Since last week we were studying about introduction to computer ethics. Where we started the chapter by dividing the whole chapter in different co-sections. One is introduction to computer ethics, accompanied with history of the concept of computer ethics. Then we study about ethical issues in computer ethics. Then we studied about 10 commandments given by Institute of Computer Ethics. Then we studied about risks of using internet or risks of using computer. Today we are going to study about introduction to computer ethics within which we will be dealing with some ethical issues in computer and the use of computer technology. I am once again Pranav Giri, the computer science teacher of grade six. Now let us go to our chapter, ethical issues. Ethical issues means the moral character of deciding what is right and what is wrong. It is not listed in any books or it is, these are not included in any sorts of rules, but this should be decided by one's moral character. Okay. The area of computer technology is one that is difficult to assign a specific set of moral codes, although it is necessary that ethics be considered when making decisions in this area. <coughs> we are vulnerable. Vulnerable means risky. We are at risk to their malfunction and misuse, creating problems such as computer crime, software theft, hacking, viruses, invasion of privacy, and over reliance on intelligent machines and workplace space, each of which has created one or more ethical dilemmas for the computer profession. During 1950s, the world's first computer crime was committed. A programmer was able to use a bit of computer code to stop his banking account from being flagged as overdrawn. Means, even though he draws money, he withdraw money from the bank, there will be no deduction in his account. However, there were no laws in place at that time to stop him. And as a result, he was not charged to make sure another person did not follow the same an ethics code for computer was needed because of which ethical issues was developed. Now, what are the different ethical issues in the use of computer and its services? There are many ethical issues, some of which are listed and discussed in detail below. Some of them are plagiarism, breaching copyright and software theft, hacking, improper use of computer resources, then harassment and its speech, breaches of information or privacy and confidentiality, and finally, impact on the society. These are some of the ethical issues which we will be dealing in this chapter. But for today's class, I'll be going on three different issues, plagiarism, breaching copyright and software theft and hacking. The rest of the ethical issues will be discussed on the next class. Okay, let us go to plagiarism. Plagiarism might be a very new term to many of you, but when you are a student of computer technology or the user of computer, it is a very common term. It should be understood Thoroughly. So what is plagiarism? Plagiarism refers to using some other person's ideas and information without acknowledging that specific person as a source. Similar to all other forms of theft, plagiarism also has many disadvantages associated with it. The use of ideas, concept, words, or structures without appropriately acknowledging a source to benefit in a setting where originality is expected is termed as plagiarism. It is subject to sanctions such as penalties, suspension, 
expulsion from school or work, substantial fines, etc. Recently, cases of extreme plagiarism have been identified in academia. As a simple example, you might be given numbers of assignments, and for the ease of submitting the assignment to your teachers, if you download the contents or if you copy the contents from internet resources and post them by giving your name or submit them by giving your name without mentioning any credit or without giving any credit to the origin author, then that activity is known as plagiarism. And plagiarism is a inevitable crime. Next one, breaching copyright and software the theft. In short, we can understand it in a single term called piracy. Piracy means to rob, to theft, to steal. Copyright infringement or piracy is the use of works protected by copyright law without permission for a usage where such permission is required, thereby infringing certain exclusive rights granted to the copyright holder, such as the right to reproduce, distribute, display, or perform the protected work in order to make derivative works. The copyright holder is typically the works creator or a publisher or other business to whom copyright has been signed. Copyright holders routinely invoke legal and technological measures to prevent and penalize copyright infringement. As an example, to make you understand about what is mean by copyright infringement and software theft, I would like to give an example. Suppose you write a very good poem in your handwriting copy or in your homework copy. You have not published that, you have not posted that in any of the magazines or any of the book. But unfortunately, your friend saw that poem, saw that article, or saw that picture in your copy, and he posted them in social media, or in some magazines, or in some journals, or in some books, by giving his name, without mentioning anything about your work. Then that sort of activity is known as copyright infringement or piracy because the work is actually yours, but he has stolen that and he has given his own credit. That is called piracy. So this is also a very important ethical issues which should not be done because if you do such activities, then that will be punishable by law. I hope you can understand what I mean to say the next ethical issue is hacking. Hacking is a very common term these days. We can listen from every computer users about hacking. Even a normal layman who don't know about computer also talks about hacking. But what the hacking actually is? The gaining of unauthorized access to data in a system or computer. Breaking into others' computer system for unauthorized purposes like breaking password, data theft, etc. The activity of using a computer to access information stored on another computer system without permission or to spread a computer virus is also termed as hacking. Hacking is the catch-all term for any type of misuse of a computer to break the security of another computing system to steal data corrupt system or files, commander the environment or disrupt data related activities in any way. That means hacking in simple term means the attempt to enter into others computer or other system for any source of activities either to steal data or to intrude or to enter virus or to damage the programs or to stop 
services provided by others computer or anything else so if you try to enter into others computer without proper authorization or without proper permission then that process is termed as hacking i hope all of you have understood about this three different ethical issues well how we are using computer and computer technology the rest of the part will be discussed on the next session till then stay safe and healthy thank you very much